Today I'm going to go through the setup to clean some flax oil with a uh, aquarium air pump and some psyllium husk. I'm trying to get an end product to put on like wooden kitchen utensils and spoons uh, that will be free of mucilage, fast drying, so pre-polymerized and uh, clear. Hopefully it won't yellow. So of course we need flax oil. Uh, this is about $14. You want cold pressed. It doesn't say cold pressed anywhere on the bottle but their website does. So hopefully that's okay. In an air pump, that was about $14. The tubing that goes with the air pump sold right next to it. That was 3 bucks. And some psyllium husk. You can get that at bulk food stores or wherever. It was about 2 bucks. So first thing we need to do is pour the flax into the jar. That's a one liter jar, 32 ounces. And this container is 12 ounces. So I didn't come up with this technique, so I'll link below where it came from on the internet. So that flax oil out of the jar is really yellow and you can kind of see some solids floating around in there. Hopefully we can get that clear. So two volume ounces of psyllium husk. So a quarter cup I guess. A bit more, I'll try a bit more. lid on and shake it. Yummy. Poke a couple holes in the lid to accommodate the tube. Wiggle this around until I can finagle the tube in. Alright, so now we're pushing the tube down to the very bottom of the mixture. It wants to kink right there, so I'm just going to cut that piece off. So I've got the tube going in the one hole down to the very bottom, and the other hole is just for the air to escape. Now I got this pump, looks pretty straightforward. Doesn't look like there's an on or off switch. Probably just plug it in. Oh yeah. So there she goes. So that's both oxygenating the flax oil. So that leads towards polymerization. And it's agitating the psyllium husk. So that psyllium husk is pulling the water soluble mucilage out of the oil. So I'm going to leave that run for a month in a sunny spot and the sun should help uh, clarify the oil too, make it less yellow. So here it is in a window that gets a lot of sun. Um, this is some sand washed flax that's been sitting here for a while. It's still pretty yellow. I've got the pump raised above, that's to make sure nothing flows back into it. Here. Yeah, I'll leave that for a month and see what happens.